Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. I want to talk about what to expect on Monday and in the coming weeks. And it's going to be a little bit bad for us as investors. However, there's a silver lining at the end of this. So <clears throat> bear with me. I want to talk about a company that I invested heavily in, that I believe in, just like I believe in NEO. I also believe in this company. I've had shares on them from very early on when they came into the stock market and I have been averaging down. Um, however, let me say this. the We should expect the stock market to take a beating, probably take a beating, next week and in the following weeks and the reason why i'm saying that is i don't know how many of you guys are paying attention to what just happened in israel between the palestinians and the israelis there's a new war brewing and the last time that happened when israel went into an all-out war with hezbollah the entire stock market not just in israel but all over the world took a beating so I don't think we should expect anything different this time around. Having said that, I want to talk to you guys about a company that I believe will probably shine even though this is happening. I'm talking about none other than SoFi. So a lot of you are probably saying, what the hell does SoFi, which is a fintech company, have anything to do with being profitable even though this war is taking place? So, SoFi, for those who are invested in SoFi should understand, this is a long-term invest, investment. It's like it's just like NEO. It's a new company with a genius CEO named Anthony Noto. You guys need to look him up. With a genius business model. And I expect this company to grow as time goes by. Now, especially... Because Joe Biden, the, the whole uh, student loan moratorium has expired. I spoke about this briefly in one of my NEO videos and I wanted to go a little more in-depth into why I believe so much in this company and why I think we'll make a significant amount of money with this company. So like I said, Noto is a genius. The student loan debts, the students have to now start paying their loans again. One of the main um, income generating factors for SoFi is the student loans because they, you can refinance your loan through them at a cheaper rate. Um, so you can finance a college degree through SoFi at a cheaper interest rate. You can refinance your student loans. You can um, have a checkings account, a savings account that pays uh, up in 4.5% just for a savings account. Uh, you can get a credit card through them, which this is what I do. And I use my credit, all my points, my credit card. I redeem it for stocks in the SoFi platform. And I buy stocks through them as well. That's one of the platforms that I use and that I love. Um, no, they're not paying me to do this video, guys. Um, you can have, like I say, your credit card. You can buy stocks through them. You can buy cryptocurrency through them. Um, all through this app, right? So it cuts out the middleman. And that way they're able to do it cheaper than um, your regular banks and what have you. And I like the idea that all of it is through an app on your phone. So this is revolutionary. Remember, even Cathy Wood admitted that companies that incorporate uh, technology and use technology to the advantage will be the leaders. So if you want to buy a dream home, uh, if you want to, and, and listen to this, over half of Americans believe that their financial ambitions are somewhat or entirely out of reach. That is amazing. It's the first time in the history of America that we've gotten to this point in a long time, since the Great Depression probably. So, SoFi, with all your ambitions in one app campaign, they started a campaign, and this is what I'm trying to get at. They are now finally 
um, advertising and bringing awareness through ads and maybe because they're generating more revenue now to, but mind you, they're still not a profitable company, right? It's a brand new company. But through, through these ads and campaigns, they're bringing awareness and it is helping to grow the company. And I believe that this is something that they drastically needed, just like NEO, what NEO is doing, bringing awareness through ads and stuff. Uh, the annual percentage rate on their bank uh, accounts is 66 times that of the national average. 66 times. That is sick, guys. I know I have their savings account and I enjoy their interest rates. Um, and I use them to, 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 you know, I keep stacking money. And like when I see one of my companies do a big pullback, like my favorite company, Neo, I jump in and I grab up shares and then I save money again for another big pullback on a company that I love. So I'm getting a nice high interest rate while I'm saving to buy stocks. That is really awesome. And mind you, that's a higher interest rate than what a lot of companies pay in terms of their dividends, right? So they have uh, career coaching on their apps. They have financial planners. They, they recently launched, like I said, an ad campaign to bring awareness to all these features on one app. Uh, for example, the star quarterback of the Los Angeles Chargers has a three-year partnership with SoFi to do ads and bring awareness. Having all these opportunities to grow your wealth, guys, there are no excuses. Back in the day, people had an excuse. We didn't have YouTube. We didn't have these apps. You had to go through a broker to buy stocks. I've said this before. If I can come to America with $300 and half a suitcase of clothes back in 1998 and make it, there's no reason why you can't. Now all the information is right at your fingertips on your phone. But I realized there's a lot of people who... If you're talking about financing and stocks and investing, they sometimes literally walk away from the conversation if you're talking to other people and they're around because they want that excuse where they can blame certain aspects of society as to why they are poor. But in America, we have no excuses. Um, they will run ads on Peacock, Roku, Amazon, Hulu, Nizio, and Tubi. So I also wanted to point, to point out this to you guys. Jim Cramer had to admit that Anthony Noto, who is the CEO and he's a genius, is a steady hand. So, and I quote, so I'm in favor of growing, of owning the stock, but not trading it. And that's a big thing. People who buy stocks into companies like SoFi, Neo, new companies that needs time to grow, they panic because they treat it as a stock they need to trade. They need to make, they need to buy it at $30, $40, $20, whatever, and it should go up to 60, 70, 80, 100 in a matter of a couple of months and they should be able to sell and take their money. No, that's not how um, companies, new companies work. Back in the day, 10 years ago, the stock market was kind of like that. You could freaking throw money into almost anything and make money. It, it doesn't work like that anymore. So, but also I want you to pay attention to this. Remember, this is not, Jim Cramer is not one of my favorite guys. You all know that by now. In the past, he said that SoFi is no different to any of the regional banks. And I knew he was just, as usual, spewing propaganda and lies uh, you know, in order to, uh, who knows what his freaking uh, mindset is, but I knew that this was nonsense, right? And I didn't go to college for finance, but I knew it was nonsense. It's it's way different to, you know, other financial institutions. Like you can't, I can't go to Bank of America as far as I know and do all of these things that I can do with SoFi straight through an app. So... <clears throat> I just wanted to bring awareness to this company again to you guys. I did a video a couple of years ago about this company and I hope that this will give you guys a little bit of conviction. So who, I know some of my followers, subscribers already said that they have sh shares in NEO and I hope this gives you guys more conviction why you should hold. In fact, a couple of them said, hey Mitch, we think alike and I also have shares of SoFi and I'm a long-term holder. So 
This is for the other people who also have SoFi and are losing faith, just like some of them who are losing faith in NEO. I hope this gives you guys conviction to understand the vision and where this company is going. If you guys found this video informational, please give it a thumbs up. It'll help encourage me to doing more videos like this for you guys. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so and sharing this to other friends and family members who you want to wake up to also elevate themselves financially. Because in this channel, guys, we get rich or we die trying.